Greetings, NAFA Diabetes Chairs and Volunteers. I hope you've had a great start to your new year. My name is Jennifer Tu and I am the National SNAFA Diabetes Chair. This is an informational video specific for our upcoming health fair. And today I will be covering what activities will be occurring during the health fair, how to prepare for the health fair, what you'll need to bring, as well as what to expect during the event. So let's get started on a little bit of background of this event. Something exciting that has changed this year is that SNAFA will be collaborating with Sam's Club for a health fair providing screenings, educational handouts, samples, and MTM. So all of our health fairs will be held at a Sam's Club that your chapter has notated on the shared Google Excel spreadsheet that was sent out in late October. On top of this, we have included an interprofessional component. Chapters with nearby NOSA chapters will have an opportunity to participate in this health fair by giving eye exams. A finalized list of participating NOSA chapters will be sent out very soon, so you'll be able to know if your chapter will be collaborating with NOSA. So you're probably wondering, what kind of activities will be done at this health fair? Well, there are three main stations for patients to go through. And depending on your site, you may have two to three tables for you to utilize. The main activities that will be performed at this health fair include, first, registration. So you'll have a table with waiver forms in which patients will come up and fill out and sign. This needs to be done before any of these activities can be performed. We will also be providing blood pressure checks, an ADA risk assessment workup, so it's just a worksheet that you'll have in which you'll fill out appropriate information, and at the end, you will get a risk score for the patient. We will also be providing MTM, so medication therapy management. Hopefully, the patient has brought a list of medications with them on what they're currently taking. Then you can evaluate and counsel the patients on these medications. In addition to this, at this table, you will also provide nutrition and lifestyle counseling. As I mentioned earlier, some chapters will be able to collaborate with NOSA and some chapters may not be able to. So this will be chapter dependent on whether you will be able to provide vision screenings to patients or not. For the second segment of my video, I will be discussing how to prepare for the health fair. So in order to prepare, you'll need to first work out the logistics. So there are certain people you will need to contact prior to the event. And the first include your preceptors and your advisors. It would be nice to touch base with them and let them know that the health fair is upcoming and to kindly remind them of the time and date as well. The second is the Sam's Club Pharmacy Managers. However, at this time, please do not contact your stores just yet. I am currently in the works of getting a communication tree out to everyone by email. So please look out for an email from me on further instructions on contacting your stores and pharmacy managers. The third is to start recruiting for the event. So contacting your volunteers and to send out friendly reminders to them about the event. Similar to last year, we will have a checklist for the health fair and your chapter will be responsible for reading each line and initialing it. Once the document has been filled out, you will need to send it back to me as well as Felix Tran, our national president. We will also need to advertise for the event ahead of time so we will have some traffic for the event. Thus, there will be flyers for you to bring to the Sam's Club stores at least two weeks in advance to the health fair. The next step is to arrange for printing of handouts and also making patient care packages, or in layman's terms, goodie bags. The handouts your chapter is responsible to print off will be emailed to you. Please anticipate to print off about 50 copies of each handout. Then, as far as knowledge base goes for making sure you're 100% on top of your game and will be able to serve your patients to the best of your ability, we have recorded webinars from last year that you can view to refresh your knowledge on the diabetes disease state. 
please refer to my previous email or go to the SNAFA website to view the links. On top of the recorded webinars, we have a very special webinar scheduled for March 6th at 6 p.m. Central Time on how to counsel patients on nutrition and exercise. Our speaker for the webinar is Professor Mickey Hall, and she is a registered dietitian and certified diabetes educator. This is a very valuable webinar and I highly, highly encourage your attendance. Please register for the webinar using the link I have provided on my emails as well as on Facebook. In the third segment of my video, I will be going over what you will need to bring with you to this event. So first off, you will have your volunteers and at least one preceptor at the Sam's Club store. As far as items that you'll need to bring with you include patient handouts, waiver forms, and other necessary paperwork, as well as blood pressure cuffs, pins, clipboards, and necessary documentation per your state's laws and regulations. I know that some states do require that interns have their intern license with them when they are at health fairs. You will also need to have a white coat on with an intern badge and to dress professionally. You will need to arrive about an hour before the health fair starts, so that would be 9 o'clock local time, in order to set up your tables and the handouts that you will have for the patients. In the last segment of my video, I will be going over what to expect at the health fair. So first off, the health fair is from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. at the Sam's Club Pharmacy you have chosen on the Google Excel spreadsheet. You will arrive at 9 a.m. and report to the pharmacy department. There you will check in with the pharmacy manager and there will be tables and chairs for you to utilize. You will want to set up your handouts in a way that you have a good workflow. So you'll probably want to have a registration table with a waiver forms then have blood pressure machines and the ADA risk assessment scoring sheets, then have an MTM table with nutrition and lifestyle counseling. And if your chapter is able to collaborate with NOSA, you will have a station for vision checks. You will also want to make sure you get patient testimonials, maybe written or even a video, but if you do take a video testimonial, please make sure the patient is okay with that. Please remember to document the number of patients served and interventions performed on each health fair day, as well as having each volunteer fill out a survey about the health fair. I hope that this video has helped solidify your knowledge on how to prepare, what to bring, and what to expect out of the health fair. The health fair is fast approaching, so get pumped and get ready to act and make an impact. If you have any further questions, please feel free to contact me at jennifer2 at snafa.org.